Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing our December of 2020 meal plan for the month. That includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert for the entire month for our family. We try not to eat out ever. Yeah. Sometimes we do, but it's very I'm rare. And it's not done yet, buddy. Um, so most of our stuff is made completely at home for all meals for everybody even my husband goes to work but i still make him lunch every day to send with him of some sort so this includes feeding everybody in our family at home so here we go i'm going to share it with you all right so here's our december meal plan and i keep this right on the fridge so everyone can see what we're having for breakfast lunch dinner dessert whatever so i don't hear the question what's for dinner what's for dinner what's for breakfast what are we doing for this what are we doing for that read the board <laughs> except those that can't read um so up here i have it color coded breakfast lunch dinner dessert bread the month obviously and i do go ahead and plan for every single day as i said because we try not to eat out every now and then we will uh but it's really not a habit we try our habit is to not um we like to save the money and then also um i don't know we just we can make really good food at home. So we do. And, um, what else? What else? I do like write down a dessert for every day, but I don't always make dessert every day. We make lots of desserts, but not constantly every single day. Um, but we do like to end the day with something sweet and it just, sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. So if you're going to ask, that's why I do have some people that are like, why do you plan for so many desserts? Why don't you just have some fruit or something? Well, we eat fruit for breakfast, lunch, every single day. I, every single day we'll have some breakfast, like we'll have some fruit and veggies with our breakfast or lunch. It's just something that I include in all the meals. That's why like when I write down grilled cheese, BLTs, whatever, I don't write even right sides anymore. I used to write with fruit and veggies, but we do it. I try to feed my kids fruit and veggies for every single meal. So I just don't even write it down anymore. Um, let's see. The 29th and the 30th are included because I do plan Sunday through Saturday. So the, these are from last month. So I'm sure you already saw that. So the 1st of December, we have cinnamon rolls and smoothies for breakfast, sandwiches for lunch, white chicken. And, and by white chicken, I mean like white sauce on top. Um, chicken enchiladas, rice, black beans, and jello for dessert. The second is actually Wilder's second birthday. So we'll be having breakfast cookies and eggs, mac and cheese with fruit, and chicken and dumplings for dinner, and then cake and ice cream for dessert. On Thursday, we'll have dippy eggs and toast. I've never called them dippy eggs. I've always called them like over medium. What do you guys call your eggs? My husband calls them dippy eggs, and he has all the kids calling them that now, so that's what they're called now in this house, and I never called them that until I met him. So what do you call your over easy eggs, over medium eggs, whatever? Do you call them dippy eggs? Have you ever heard of that? Uh, Lunchables, and we just do homemade Lunchables. I'll buy crackers, um, cheese, and meat, and then we'll do like fruit and vegetables with it. Um, for dinner, we'll do leftovers, or if we don't have any, we'll just do a breakfast for dinner and then brownies for dessert. The fourth, overnight oats, burritos, Dutch oven chicken with roasted veggies and sweet potatoes, Dutch oven bread, and then popcorn. We try to do um, popcorn night every Friday night, or just about. We'll do popcorn and movie night. Saturday, my husband loves corned beef hash and eggs. I think he might have been the only one that enjoys it, but the rest of us can just eat eggs or something, <laughs> but he loves it. Uh, we'll do barbecue, cola, pork chops, mac and cheese, and baked beans for dinner, cornbread with that, and then ice cream for dessert if needed or wanted. Omelets, um, meatballs, rice, and peas for dinner with some dinner rolls and Oreo dip. Oh, and um, I don't ever plan for lunches on Saturdays and Sundays just because we kind of go with the flow. Sometimes we'll be out in town or sometimes um, that will be like the one time that we'll grab McDonald's or just whatever, or we'll just eat on leftovers or we'll just make up something really quick. I don't know. I just never plan for lunches on the weekends anymore. I used to all the time and we never ended up eating it. So I felt like I was always wasting money on the ingredients for it. So now I just kind of go with the flow on that. Um, let's see. Uh, Monday the 7th, we'll do chocolate gravy and biscuits. I thought that'd be fun. Um, pizzas for lunch, beef teriyaki skillet, and strawberry pie for dessert. And then on the 8th, we'll do German pancakes and fruit for breakfast, and instant pot ham and cheese rotini for lunch, buffalo chicken pasta bake. I just realized that's two um, 
pastas in the same day, but whatever, it'll be all right. And then cheddar quick bread with that and peanut butter fudge for dessert. On the ninth, peanut butter, honey, banana wraps, mac and cheese, Dijon pork and roasted carrots and sweet potatoes with that. And then we'll do milkshakes for dessert. On the 10th, we'll do fruit and yogurt parfaits for breakfast, peanut butter and jelly with some fruit and veggies, I'm sure, for lunch. And then we'll do leftovers or I'll make broccoli and cheese soup with bread bowls that night for dinner. If we have no leftovers, this whole month of November, I'm filming this in November, our whole month of November, I planned for Thursdays are our leftover days. Um, we haven't had any leftovers at all and I've always had to make something. So I always try to include something if we don't have leftovers. Um, the Friday, the 11th, we'll do instant pot oatmeal and smoothies, um, quesadillas for lunch, awesome sauce chicken with instant pot garlic parmesan noodles and peas, and then popcorn balls for dessert. And I thought that would be fun to try. On the 12th, we do bacon, eggs, potatoes, and then for dinner, we'll do Philly cheesesteaks and onion rings and then ice cream for dessert. The 13th, we'll do, my husband will do corned beef and hash. With eggs, we'll do KFC balls for dinner with cornbread and no-bake cookies for dessert. The 14th, we have French toast sticks and sausage. And I'll just make French toast and cut it up into sticks. And then three cheese gnocchi. And for lunch, why do I keep doing this? I don't even notice until, I didn't even notice when I wrote it down here or there about the two pastas, but who cares? Um, Italian sausage, peppers, and onions pasta for dinner and garlic bread. And then ice cream for dessert again. This family loves some ice cream, let me tell you. Overnight oats for breakfast on the 15th, grilled cheese for lunch, an orange chicken skillet for dinner, peanut butter cookies with a little Hershey kiss on top. That sounds delicious right now. On the 16th, egg burritos, BLTs for lunch, cowboy lasagna, and cornbread for dinner. I've never made that, but my kids were begging me to make it and add it to the meal plan, so I did. Their stepmom makes it, so they want it. Pancakes and eggs on the 17th, fish sticks, for lunch, leftovers, or breakfast for dinner, and then Boston cream pie, poke cake for dessert. I actually had written down Boston cream pie cupcakes, but writing this down, I'm like, that sounds exhausting. I'll just make one cake. <laughs> it seems a lot easier. Uh, on the 18th, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches, wraps for lunch, and then, and I only wrote wraps because I'll use whatever um, we have on hand. If we have, um, whatever lunch meat and cheese, or if I need to make peanut butter and jelly or just something, whatever we have, we'll wrap it up and we'll eat it. Uh, air fryer pork chops, twice baked potatoes and Brussels sprouts with some popcorn again for a Friday night dessert. Sausage gravy and biscuits on Saturday morning with Italian garlic Asian pasta, instant pot garlic Asian pasta with chicken and quick bread, some kind of quick bread for dinner and then jello for dessert. The 20th, we have bacon, potatoes, eggs, toast, and then I'm going to attempt to make a homemade, homemade, I can't speak, a homemade chicken lo mein with egg rolls for dinner. We shall see how that goes. And then the 21st, we'll have quiche for breakfast, chicken nuggets for lunch, spaghetti carbonara for dinner with garlic bread, and then a gooey butter cake for dessert. The 22nd, smoothies and toast, bologna and cheese for lunch, kielbasa, potatoes, green beans, and biscuits for dinner. The 23rd, muffins and eggs, Lunchables, Salisbury steak, rice, or mashed potatoes, whatever I have on hand or feel like making with some green beans and then cornbread for dinner. Um, my parents sh should be here this week. That is the plan as of now, as long as my mom stays in good enough health to come visit, they're gonna come visit over Christmas. Um, that is why, Christmas Eve and Christmas, I have not planned dinner yet because I just wanna make sure that they are coming and what we're gonna do, we haven't decided. They were talking about bringing up a ham from the Honey Baked Ham store. I'm just not sure on those two days yet, so that will come later. Um, but I did go ahead and do um, breakfast on the 24th and Christmas Eve will be egg burritos. Who knows what we'll have for lunch because everybody's gonna be here. And then peanut butter lasagna for dessert. And then on Christmas, I always make a cinnamon roll French toast bake with some bacon. It's just been something I've made done for years, so I know that we'll have that that morning. And for the rest of the day, again, who knows what's gonna happen. The 26th, we'll do pancakes, eggs, sausage, Swedish meatballs over egg noodles with some peas, Dutch oven bread for dinner, and then probably just some ice cream or something for dessert. Who knows, it could change, but. Um, sausage gravy and biscuits and eggs, country fried steak, mashed potatoes and corn, Dutch oven bread, and a jello poke cake for dessert. This is my husband's birthday. And um, he loves strawberry jello poke cake for his birthday um, cake, so. 
that's the plan as of now. Unless he wants to change any of that, he is more than welcome to. We will make whatever accommodations he wants for his birthday. Pancake bikes. Bites and fruit on the 28th, bean and cheese burritos with honey mustard, pretzel chicken, rice and peas and rolls for dinner. And then the 29th, we have smoothie bowls, mac and cheese, Mexican pizzas with cilantro, lime rice and corn and pumpkin pie for dessert. The 30th, waffles and sausage, some kind of ramen, chicken pot pie topped with biscuits or in a pie shell, whatever we want to do that day. And then I saw something called a caramel apple bark for dessert and it sounds really good. So I wrote it down. We'll try that. Banana bread, peanut butter and jelly, leftovers, or baked ricotta with gnocchi and meatballs and garlic bread for dinner. And then again, because I keep planning through the Sunday, um, we'll do, or through, through Saturday, we'll do eggs and toast, quesadillas, corn dogs and fries, and popcorn and candy bar. And then the second, we'll do bacon, egg and cheese, Philly cheesesteaks again, and fries and jello. So that is our entire meal plan for December for all of our meals. Uh, for our family. Sometimes we're a family of five, sometimes seven, and then when my parents visit, sometimes it's nine of us. And that, you know, I just, like I said, I try to make all of our meals at home because it's expensive to eat out, especially with a large family. So we just try our best to eat at home and that way we know what we're getting and all of that as well. Um, sometimes we do switch around meals. I'll get questions on these videos like, do you have that stuff every single day? Sometimes we don't. Sometimes I'll skip a night. Like sometimes we'll go out to eat or whatever, and we'll miss that night. Or sometimes I don't feel like cooking that, that night and then we'll like, I'll switch and go, oh, well, I want this dinner from the next week. So what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll actually like cross off every meal that we eat. And then I will not cross off what we don't eat. That way I know what we've eaten, what we've missed. And I can go, if on the first, I wanna eat something from the 17th, um, we'll cross off whatever's on the 17th. And then when the 17th comes, I can go back and look and see everything else we've missed. And I know that we already have the ingredients for it because we do, um, grocery shop for a month at a time and try to get everything that we need besides obviously milk, fresh fruits and veggies and stuff like that. But I'll try to get all the main ingredients, everything that I can freeze, everything that can go in the pantry. So we have everything we need at one time. So I can do that. Like I can pick any meal basically and make it. It doesn't have to be in order. It's just written down. It helps. If you have any other questions, ask. I'll try to answer as many as I can get to. I try to answer everybody. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Don't forget to watch our every day. We share full day of meals or day in the life. I title them usually. And it's me showing how we make all these meals. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please subscribe and become part of our large family love family. That's becoming bigger. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and enjoy these other videos we have coming up for you. Also, you can turn on the red bell notifications so you're notified of every new video we post. Thank you so much.